I had a nickel, tell you exactly what I'd do. Yeah. If I had a nickel, exactly what I'd do. Everybody farmed, but you'd get more out of your grain and your corn and stuff. You made whiskey out of it. You get a couple of dollars a bushel versus 10 cents. So that I'm not on a lot of it right there. It put food on a lot of people's table. I never did see no harm in it myself. One fellow said, I had a wife and six children, and it was my responsibility to see to it that they had food and clothes. And not everybody could get a job at the tannery. I had one fella tell me, he said that when they would come in and cut her steels, every household was affected for some time. I said, even the Baptist preacher? He said, even the Baptist preacher? He said, for about two weeks, we had no money to put my church plate on Sunday, to buy groceries, somehow, some way, I guess you'd call it the trickle-down effect, that it touched every household. When the Civil War came and the Civil War ended in an economic respect to the South, the United States government started taxing this whiskey and putting in a tax that they just couldn't afford, so they started making it illegal. And it's usually the most independent-minded individuals that, that make the decision and say, okay, the one way I can hold on to my land, pay my taxes, stay here where my family has lived for generations, is to find ways to supplement my income. For so many people, that meant making moonshine.